HTP started in the year 2000. Um, it is an apprenticeship training company. Um, we started in Newport on the Isle of Wight and we have um, moved the other way across the water and are now across the whole of the South East and even with national companies. Since HTP training was established, you've trained in excess of 5,000 apprentices, working alongside a vast range of employers. So what is HDP's strategy to create excellence in teaching, learning and assessment? Teaching, learning and assessment is as important as if you were in a school or a sixth form college and our staff have to be qualified, they have to teach according to outstanding um, systems and um, be uh, assessed by Ofsted in the same way a school or a college is. We make sure that we are up to speed with the current thinking um, in education by actually changing our own staff development programme. HDP remains one of the country's leading providers of workplace training. So how has the staff development programme evolved to ensure standards of teaching, learning and assessment are maintained? We as an organisation decided to introduce higher level uh, teaching qualifications because we recruit from industry in order to get those skills into our business and to give people the underpinning understanding, the confidence and the ability to get the best out of our learners, we wanted to give them these qualifications. We decided that um, staff being appropriately qualified to, to deliver uh, learning was really important to show that the um, parity of esteem for the apprenticeships was as important as if you were doing a full-time college course or A-levels. The teaching qualification that we did was delivered externally. Um, during the course there was a vast amount of coverage around theorists and it was quite generic in the way it was delivered. So having established a model of delivery in partnership with another provider, what were the benefits of bringing the teaching qualification element of staff development in-house? When we set up the qualification to deliver it to ourselves here at HTP, we took that into consideration and very much contextualised the qualification to what the training organisation needed. So we took on board that it needed to be around our quality procedures, our processes. We still worked to the standards and we still looked at the professional standards and all that was incorporated to meet the awarding body requirements, but it was about what we do at HTP as well as facilitators of learning. Because we use trainers that are doing the job as well as training our own staff, they really understand the role of the trainer in the workplace and, they, and, and the classroom based uh, courses so they're able to tailor the delivery and if somebody doesn't understand something they can use their own language to explain it and they can m simplify it and make it much easier for people to understand by contextualising it to their job role. Clearly, HTP invests significant resources in the development of staff, but do they monitor or measure the impact this has on the delivery of teaching, learning and assessment? Well, it's really important to monitor the impact that that training has. One of the ways that we do that is a very robust system of observation of the teaching, learning and assessment that we as an organisation provide. And we have a team of observers all of whom have undertaken the high level training themselves. So they go out, they observe the practice, uh, they feed back to the individual, they develop action plans where required. So we're able to see what's actually happening and react very quickly to the requirements of individuals to tailor make a programme to meet their needs. If HDP were recommending this approach to other similar organisations, what would they say the key benefits are for staff, learners and the organisation? The impact on the staff, it's made a great difference to their delivery and um, as well as the delivery, the planning, which is the most important part in what we're doing, um, it's led on to them uh, growing in confidence in their delivery, um, in terms of observation, improved grading with their observation because they're actually taking on board the feedback. So there's a, a, a greater joined up approach in the mechanism that we've set up now. The learners benefit because they achieve and they achieve on time. The staff benefit because they actually see that their young people are motivated and achieve and success rates within HTP remain very high. The best bits about undertaking the qualification meant for me personally um, I was able to develop my confidence, my skills, um, I was able to 
um, have a better understanding of how to meet um, individuals' needs, really. I do deal with learners that um, often say to me, um, even from 16 to 18 to 24 plus learners, he'll say to me, I don't think I can do this. And one of the things that is so good is I'm able to say to them, yes, you can, because if I was able to achieve a level five qualification, um, then yes, you are able to achieve your qualification as well. HDP has been running the programme for a number of years. How do you ensure the CPD programme continues to reflect current thinking in education? So where we are now then is that we are actually on our fourth cohort of delivery and as a grade one provider every time we've delivered we've taken the opportunity to reflect on what we've learned, what worked well, what could be improved on and therefore we're now in a position to run the programme not only ourselves but to run an up-to-date modern programme which is contextualised to HTP's requirements and Ofsted's and that of current industry requirements. We have this year just been re-accredited as Investors in People Gold Champions and have actually been nominated for a national award for Investors in People. When I graduated, I was absolutely elated. Um, it is definitely one of the most proudest moments. 